I am Kajima Hiroshi, Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry of Japan. As a host of the first Asia CCUS Network Forum, allow me to say a few words. The world made a big turn toward decarbonization. By taking active climate actions, industrial structures as well as economic society can be transformed. The virtual cycle of economy and environment bringing a big growth needs to be realized. With this recognition, Japan will support diverse and pragmatic energy transition using all fuels and technology, reflecting each country's circumstances so that Asia and other emerging economies can achieve economic growth and carbon neutrality at the same time. Specifically yesterday, special meeting of Japan ASEAN Energy Ministers was held where Japan proposed to launch Asia CCUS network today, as well as 80, a package of Japan's assistance covering financing support to capacity building called the Asia Energy Transition Initiative. One of the essential technology for realizing carbon neutrality is CCUS. There's an estimate that ASEAN countries each has CO2 storage potential of 10 billion tons or more Taking advantage of this potential, entire Asia should decarbonize. That is why last November at the East Asia Summit Energy Ministers Meeting, I made a proposal to launch Asia CC US Network. This is a network and is an international platform for industry, government, and academia that whose uh, future vision is to build the Asia-wide CO2 capture, transport, and storage network and purports to develop an environment conducive to CCUS utilization throughout Asia and share knowledge. This future vision was shared not only with ASEAN 10, but also with U.S. and Australian government. Further, more than 100 entities, including international organizations, businesses, financial institutions, and research institutions expressed their support and are participating as supporting members to help realize the vision. Amid the global flow toward decarbonization, it goes to show that suitable sites for CCUS are recognized globally as a new resources that will create a big value this marks a big first step toward decarbonizing Asia. As first step in sharing knowledge in Asia CC US network, allow me to introduce to you Japan's efforts. In Tomakomai City, Hokkaido, 300,000 tons injection of CO2 has been achieved. In an area close to a big city, this scale of operation was carried out safe and secure, gaining understanding of local residents. This opened up a new possibility in the world of CCUS. Based on this experience, actions are continuing, aiming at social deployment of CCS after 2030. First is to drive down the cost of CO2 capture. Japan has a strength in core technology of CCUS, which is CO2 capture technology. This is the area where Japan can contribute in the areas of decarbonizing the world, aiming to cut the cost down to one quarter of today. Research and development are underway on innovative capture technology. Second is realizing long haul transport of CO2. Transportability of ships and vessels are, will be verified, aiming to build a flexible and efficient CO2 transport network, not only inside Japan, but also in entire Asia. Taking the lead in the world, aiming to transport liquid CO2 by vessels and boats by 2024, today, consortium made up of trading firms, shipping companies, manufacturers was adopted and announced as implementing entity for demonstration. Third is to tie up with carbon recycling technology that efficiently uses CO2. In Tomakomai City, oil, gas, field, power plant, and industries are located. A major value chain pertaining to CO2 emission capture and use is also present. To make Tomakomai City a center of CCUS carbon recycling demonstration, work had started since March this year among local government and industry to draw up a vision. Fourth is international cooperation. 
Japanese technology will be demonstrated out in the field worldwide. Japan's research institute, right, is developing monitoring technology using optical fiber as well as micro bubble technology for efficient CO2 injection. We are planning together with the US and Australia's research institute to conduct a pilot demonstration in the field. Wright is also planning to compile collections of examples of technologies experienced at home and abroad by the end of August and share the results through Asia CCUS network. Further, we will aim for building international business model for CCUS at oil fields and gas fields in Indonesia. We hope to realize Indonesia's very first CCUS business. Also attempting to place injected CO2 under JCM credit, new MOU and joint study agreement were concluded. The work will continue. The details will be introduced at this special session entitled the Japan CC US Showcase tomorrow. To realize a vision upheld by the Asia CC US network, contribution and cooperation from members, supporting members, area secretariat will be needed. Let us work together to realize the decarbonization of the entire Asia. Lastly, I will conclude by wishing all of you here at this forum the very best. Thank you very much.